Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video. Now, it is that time of the year again. Probably, probably my favourite time of the year. It's Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2022 time. So today I've picked up seven of my favourite pieces from that brand new Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2022 collection. So I'm going to showcase them to you guys and also show you lot how I like to style these pieces as well. So it's going to give you some outfit inspiration and also show you how the pieces kind of look on body. However guys, I just want to quickly let you know that this coming Friday, which is the 30th of September, there's a brand new release from my clothing brand, Studio Du Jour. It's a big restock on my best-selling hoodies, just in time for winter. Um, and there's also a brand new graphic sweatshirt as well. So that is coming this Friday, the 30th of September at 7 p.m. BST, that's 7 p.m. UK time. And as always, there's worldwide shipping. But yeah, guys, enough of that. Let's jump in to the first Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2022 pickup. All right, team. So we're going to start things off with what is what is probably my favorite piece from the entire collection, and that is this V-neck lamb's wool cardigan. So as you can see, I opted for the grey colorway, and honestly. This is a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's kind of given off all the granddad vibes and, you know, for that reason, obviously, this, this probably won't be for everyone. You know, some of you may love it and some of you maybe not so much. For me personally, I love it. I think it's a beautiful piece and like I said, it's probably my favourite piece now I've tried it on, probably my favorite piece from the entire collection. By the way, guys, for sizing, um, I'm like 5'11", sit around 170 pound, and I went with a size medium. Now, I honestly absolutely love the fit of it. For me, it really is the perfect fit in cardigan. It has, you know, that slightly relaxed silhouette. However, it does have a little bit of a crop in the length, which I am really, really happy with, a huge fan of. Um, it definitely gives off more of a kind of unique fashion forward look. So yeah guys, fits incredible, really nice colour, cosy grandad vibes and for like £35, it's, it's a no brainer. I'm actually going to order this in the other colours as well. By the way, these aren't in any kind of particular order, I'm literally just you know grabbing as we go. But next up we have the oversized striped shirt in this kind of natural colorway. What I really love about this piece is that kind of 80s slash 90s, I guess, vintage vibe that it gives off. It's kind of like a school teacher vibe and I absolutely love it. I've been after a shirt like this for quite a while now. What I would say though, I got a size medium and as you can see, it's an oversized boxy silhouette. You know, I love the fit of the sleeves, but I feel like it's a little bit too long in the body length. And like I said before, I'm 5'11 and around 170 pound. That being said, I think I'm still gonna keep it, but I'm actually gonna potentially go and get it altered. You know, probably take a few inches off the body length and have it finished with like a straight hem as well. Once that's been done, I honestly feel like it would be the perfect fall shirt. You know, dress it up, if you're maybe going out for a few drinks or for some dinner, or equally, dress it down if you're just kind of vibing around the house. Either way, everybody needs at least one of these kind of shirts in your rotation, and to be honest, for 35 pound, you can't really go wrong. Next up, guys, we have the Block Tech trench coat in this beautiful kind of dark olive colorway. Now, I went with a size large, however, I don't know whether I should have maybe gone with a size medium because I don't know if the large is a little bit too big, if it kind of swallows me up. But then, will a medium be too small because I do want it to be kind of a boxy, oversized fit? I don't know. Let me, let me know in the comments down below. What size do you think I should go with? Either way, putting aside the fact that this size may be a little bit too big for me, it's honestly the perfect trench coat for this coming season. 
really nice colorway. The olive green fits in, you know, perfectly with the fall kind of earth tone color palette. And obviously, as expected with Uniqlo U, the quality is on point. The trench coat is honestly a timeless, timeless piece, an absolute fall winter wardrobe essential. Every single year, once fall hits, you will know that the trench coat is is a garment that you can absolutely rely on. You know, dress them up with a wide leg trouser or on the flip side, be a little bit different. You know, style these with a pair of sweatpants. Either way, the trench coat is a fall winter 2022 wardrobe essential. All right guys, so moving on to pick up number four, I believe. Um, and look, we can't do a Uniqlo U styling haul and not pick up the infamous Airism oversized t-shirt. As you can see, I opted for the dark gray colorway and honestly, I don't have any dark gray t-shirts in my kind of rotation whatsoever. So this is, this is definitely a solid addition. Again, I went with a size medium and as you can see, it definitely has that oversized boxy fit. Honestly, a really great option if you're looking for, you know, a more kind of affordable basic tee. They're literally like 15 pounds. So obviously on the more affordable side, however, they, they, they don't have that kind of heavyweight feel to them that the likes of, you know, my Studio Du Jour t-shirts do or the likes of Cole Buxton, Illicit Block. You know, they don't have that kind of heavyweight feel. But if you're looking for a t-shirt, on you know the slightly more lightweight breathable side for 15 pound it's a bargain all right guys so to kind of slightly switch things up we're going to move on to what is the only legwear piece in this haul and that is the pile lined track pants in the black colorway now i picked these up because i just thought they were a solid alternative to the weekday Ken trousers that are obviously super popular, but always sold out. So yeah, if you are you know, on the hunt for a great alternative to that weekday Ken trouser, this is a solid option. As you can see, it has that kind of, you know, pinstripe pleat crease going down the center of each leg, which I really do like. It kind of gives them a slightly more dressed up vibe rather than leaning into the more kind of casual side, if that makes sense. Now, in terms of actual sizing, um, for reference, I am normally, I'm normally like a 31 inch waist. Um, I opted for a medium. They are a little bit big on the waist, but they do have that drawstring just to kind of tighten them up as well. So that isn't too much of an issue. But yeah, I was honestly pleasantly surprised by these, you know, I love how they look. I love how they look styled with my denim jacket and my Birkenstocks that you guys can see on the B-roll. Um, so yeah, for 40 pound, a great option. So guys, moving on to the sixth pickup, I think from the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2022 collection. And that is this V-neck lamb's wool sweater or v-neck v lamb's wool i guess knit um, and as you can see i got this in the natural colorway now i got this as an alternative to the one that cos brought out last season um or last winter should i say and yeah i got this as an alternative to that and again it's a great option what i would say is i'm not too sure if i should have gone with a size large though rather than a medium what do you guys think what I do like about it is the fact that the V-neck kind of cut isn't too low. Um, I think the V-neck cut is perfect, but yeah, I don't know whether I should have just gone up to a size large just to kind of give it a little bit more of a relaxed look. What do you think? Now, as you can see, you know, it looks great just kind of worn on its own by itself paired with, you know, a pair of trousers, but it's also on top of that a great, great knit to use as a layering piece underneath your kind of outerwear. Because it does kind of have so much texture to the fabric, using this as a kind of under layer piece really does kind of help add a lot more depth to, you know, the overall look. Maybe all it needs to kind of finish that look off 
is a kind of oversized, really kind of exaggerated oversized scarf. And you've got a great autumn winter look. All right, guys, so moving on to the seventh pickup of the collection. And this is the pile lined track jacket. Now, this is actually a matching jacket to those black track pants that I kind of shown you guys earlier. It's a matching jacket. Obviously, you know, I opted for the khaki colorway in the jacket as opposed to the matching black. But yeah, it is a matching set. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm still kind of undecided. So this one, I will definitely need your help. Obviously, you know, I've already styled it. I think I've kind of concluded that I'm not so keen on how it looks when it's fully unzipped. But when it's like half zipped, I think I like it. It's still, you know, a solid piece, great quality, but I just think, you know, if you don't love something, then don't get it. Don't pay it, don't buy it. And yeah, I guess I just don't love it. So stick into that rule. Yeah, like I said, I think I'm gonna send this one back. In terms of the little details though, for reference, I'm like I said, 5'11", sitting around 170 pound. I went with a size medium and as you can see, does have that kind of boxy, relaxed look. It is a nice kind of quite a heavyweight fabric um, and price point comes in at 50 pound. And there we have it guys. So those were my seven favorite pieces from the Uniqlo U Fall Winter 2022 collection. Now, as always, let me know in the comment section down below which out of those seven pieces is your personal favorite. And also let me know, you know, if there's something on the website that you guys vibe with that I maybe missed out, let me know in the comments down below. Let's get some conversations flowing. As I said before, guys, this coming Friday, the 30th of September, 7 p.m., BST is a brand new drop from my brand, Studio Du Jour. It is the long-awaited restock on the hoodies and an all new graphic sweatshirt. Um, so yeah, this is one to not miss out on. The hoodies sold out mad quick last time. Um, so yeah, if, if there is something you want, I would be there at 7 p.m. UK time sharp. As always, all the links to the social media and all that kind of stuff will be linked in the description. So yeah, with that, my next video is also going to be out on Friday at 7 p.m. rather than the Sunday. So that's something to kind of keep in mind. But yeah, guys, that is it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog and I'll see you lot in the next one. Peace.